Hey, this is Dr. Van Cleef, and I'd like to walk through a uh, argument with you. This is what we're doing in the first part of chapter one, putting an argument into standard form. <clears throat> um, so here's an argument here. Anytime Sally runs on the river trail, Bob goes with her. I know that Sally ran on the river trail last night because she said so on Twitter. Thus, Bob must have run on the river trail last night. Therefore, he will know whether the snow has been plowed on the river trail. So <clears throat> when you're dealing with a, a little argumentative paragraph like this, the first question is, what's the main conclusion? And sometimes the main conclusion is the, is the last uh, statement in the paragraph, but not always. In this case, it is. Uh, part of what helps us to know that is this conclusion indicator, therefore. Um, but notice that there are other conclusion indicators as well. So here's the word thus, which is also a conclusion indicator. So, you know, just the conclusion indi indicator by itself doesn't tell you that there's a main conclusion, what the main conclusion is, right? Because here we've got two conclusion indicators. Uh, and so there's still an open question, well, what's the main conclusion? And really the only fail-safe way to determine what the main conclusion is, is to understand what is being driven at, what's the main point of, of the uh, paragraph, right? What is trying to be established by the argumentative paragraph, by the argument? And so the main thing here, in this case, if you think about it, is this very last statement. So he, Bob, will know whether the snow has been plowed on the river trail. <clears throat> So I'm going to um, make that the, the last statement uh, up here. I'll just type it out. Bob will know whether the snow has been plowed on the river trail. I'll just abbreviate there. And so <clears throat> we're going to kind of work backwards to this. Um, if that's the conclusion, Bob will know the, whether the snow has been plowed. The question is, what statements are helping to establish that conclusion? What statements in this argumentative paragraph are giving us a reason for thinking that this statement, the main conclusion, is true? And if you think about it, there's really just two statements. Um, well, actually, sorry, one statement that's, that's, that's enabling us to know that. And it's this statement right here. Bob must have run on the river trail last night. So I'm going to abbreviate that, kind of slightly paraphrase it as, um, I'm going to take that must have, that uh, kind of sometimes called a modal uh, uh, term out. And I'm just going to say, Bob ran on the river. I'll just abbreviate uh, river trail last night. Um, if you think about this, think about this. If Bob ran on the river trail last night, would it be, would that give us reason for thinking that Bob will know whether the snow has been plowed on the river trail? And the answer to that is yes, it does. I mean, it's not, again, not automatically. Maybe he wasn't paying attention or whatever, right? Sometimes people, you can, uh, you know, there are instances of people like driving many hours and not remembering anything that, you know, happened in those couple hours. So it's not like automatic, but it nevertheless, the truth of this statement, right, Bob ran on the river trail last night, gives us a really good reason or good evidence for thinking that this statement, the main conclusion is true, right? Um, so here we're saying, right, two would be true because one is true. But if you think, look at the structure of this paragraph here, um, there's also a reason given for how we know that Bob ran on the river trail last night. And that's just these two statements. On the one hand, anytime Sally runs on the river trail, Bob goes with her. And on the other hand, um, Sally ran on the river trail last night. So I'm going to put those in here. First one. Anytime um, Sally runs on the river trail, Bob 
goes with her. Right? And also, um, Sally did run, or just Sally ran, on the river trail last night. <clears throat> um, before fig filling out the kind of structure of this argument, I, we should notice that there's one other statement that we have, don't have in our standard form argument yet, and that is this one. Notice this premise indicator because, right? That is telling us or suggesting that what's following that statement because is some sort of premise, right? So here's the premise. Sally said on Twitter, so we're going to have to paraphrase this. Um, we wouldn't just write, she said so on Twitter. We'd be very clear about what we mean. We'd say, Sally said on Twitter that she ran on the river trail, right? Um, and that's a premise that's supporting this statement right here, right? That Sally did run on the river trail last night. So I'm going to put that in, and that's going to end up being uh, uh, line two here. Um, so Sally said on Twitter that she ran on the river trail last night. Now, here I've got five numbered statements. That's not yet a standard form argument. So what I need to do is I need to show what the structure of this argument is. That means any inference that's being made, I need to denote in my standard form argument what line or lines that that inference, that conclusion is, is following from. Let's start with the main conclusion, right? The main conclusion, uh, Bob will know whether the snow has been plowed on the river trail. We said follows from lines, well, just line one. So I'm going to say from, sorry, not line one, four, from line four, right? So line five is supposed to follow from line four. Um, but also, um, there's an argument uh, to the conclusion of line four, right? This is what we call a sub-argument, right? Um, so how do we know Bob ran on the river trail last night? Well, because of one, namely, anytime Sally runs on the river trail, Bob goes with her, and three, that Sally did run on the river trail last night. So from one, comma, three. And then the only other uh, inference being made here is that Sally did run on the river trail last night, and we're supposed to know that from line two, right? Because she said so on Twitter. So we'll just put from two. And there we have a completed standard form argument.